Hey, what's up guys? This is Wasi from FlamelineVisualEffects.com and welcome back to my another brand new After Effects tutorial. In this tutorial, I will show you how to create this. Do you want a professional animation service? Then I am here for help you. Click the link in the description box below for more information. Can I get 500 likes for this tutorial? If yes, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe my channel. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so first create a new composition by clicking here and rename it to text. And I am going with same 1920 1080p frame rate 29.97 and duration make it 6 second long then click on ok ok let's import our logo you can also use text instead of logo ok let's import it and uh, place it into this composition then press S to open scale and make it a little bit smaller like this ok now create a new solid layer so right click new solid and make it white then click on ok and put it below the logo layer and let's change the track mat to alpha inverted ok now create another composition by clicking here and rename it to main and then click on ok ok now go to project window and select this text comp and then place it into this composition Ok, let's import our project files. You can download these project files from link in the description box below so please check this out. Ok, now select this BG layer and place it into this composition and put it below the text layer. Then press S to open scale and make it a little bit smaller. Like this. Ok now right click on this layer then choose pre-compose and select move all attributes and rename it to bg then click on ok. Ok now make both layer 3d by clicking here. Ok now we are create a solid layer so right click new and then click on solid then color set it gray then click on ok. Also make this layer 3d and then go to toolbar and select rotation tool and then hold down shift and rotate clockwise like this then select this layer and press S to open scale and make it 400% then go to top view and then select this layer and press P to open position and then decrease the Z amount make it center of this composition something like this ok now go to active camera and then uh, increase the Y amount and place this below the text something like this perfect Ok now select this layer and put it below the text layer. Ok now we are create a camera so right click new and then click on camera. Then click on ok. Ok now we are create a light so right click new and then click on light. And I am going with point light and intensity set to 100 and make sure your cat shadow is on. Then click on ok. Now select this BG layer and press AA and then accept light set it off. Ok now select text layer and then press AA and then cat shadow set it on. Ok now select this light layer and then press P to open position and then increase the Z amount very high. Now we can see a nice long shadow 
and then adjust the light position like this looks good to me ok now select this BG layer and then press P to open position then increase the Z amount set it 10,000 then press S to open scale and then increase the scale amount something like this perfect ok now we are creating null object so right click new and click on null object make it 3D and then select this camera and then parent it to null 1 perfect ok now select this null object and then go to beginning of this animation and then press P to open position then increase the Z amount very high then set a keyframe on position then go forward few seconds maybe go to 5 seconds and then Z amount set it 0 then select these two keyframe and press F9 to make them easy ease and then open graph editor and then change the graph curve to something like this ok let's ramp it with it looks good to me ok now go to project window and select this light layer then place it into this composition again go to project window and select uh, smoke layer and then place it into this composition and then change the layer mode to add also select this particle layer and place it into this composition and then change the layer mode to color dodge perfect ok now we are create a black solid layer so right click new and then click on solid and make it black then click on ok now select this layer and then go to toolbar and select ellipse tool then double click on it then change the max mode to subtract and then change the max path position to something like this perfect then select this layer and then press F to open max feather then increase the max feather amount ok now create another black solid layer so right click new and then click on solid and rename it to flimber then click on ok now select this layer and then go to toolbar and select rectangle tool and double click on it then double click on this max path and then hold down alt and control then drag and then change the max mode to subtract ok now create a adjustment layer so right click new and then click on adjustment layer then place it below ok now go to effect and preset window and search for curves then select this effect and apply onto this adjustment layer then change the RGB curves to something like this then increase the red channel also increase the green channel and increase the blue channel also perfect looks good to me ok now we are going to create another composition for this go to project window and then click here to create new composition and rename it to texture then click on ok then go to project window and select this texture image and place it into this composition 
then create a black solid layer so right click new and click on solid and then click on ok then go to effect and preset window and search for fractal noise then select this effect and apply onto this black solid layer then go to beginning of this animation and then set a keyframe on evolution then go to end of this animation and evolution amount set it 3 okay now again go to effect and preset window and search for threshold then select this effect and apply onto this black solid layer then increase the level amount until the composition goes black then set a keyframe on level then go forward few frames then decrease the level amount until the composition goes white ok now select this texture layer and then change the track mat to luma mat ok now select this layer and then go to transform and then increase the scale amount perfect ok now go to main composition then go to project window and then select our texture comp layer and then put it below this gray solid layer then make this layer 3d then press AA and then accept light set it off ok now select this layer and drag it forward few seconds something like this our animation is complete press 0 to ramp view this thank you very much for watching this tutorial have a great day